Hello everyone, welcome to Down and Dirty. Today we're going to install a relay for our winch positive cable. Um, in the past I had it hooked directly to the battery, which really isn't a good idea. Cable ever shorts out or winch shorts out, uh, gets submerged, causes issues. Anyway, you can end up draining the battery or uh, even having a fire if your cable would happen to rub through. So it's never a good idea to have something directly hooked to your battery like that. So we're adding a worn relay that I purchased online, give you the part number and everything. I'm going to add it to the inner fender next to the battery and uh, connect it to auxiliary one switch on the diesel Rubicon here. That way I can just turn the power on to the winch when I need it and not have to worry about having any issues. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to install this relay for the winch. So I can turn the power on and off to the winch from an auxiliary switch. I'm putting it on auxiliary one on my Rubicon. And I purchased this relay. It's actually a worn relay. I made up this bracket. Actually, I already had it on there to make sure it fit, but I just made it out of aluminum. Bolting it to the inner part of the fender right next to the battery. Part number for the relay that I purchased. And then I bought a piece of cable, two foot piece. It's actually a little long and uh, larger than what I wanted. I wanted three gauge, couldn't get it, so I got a two. <clears throat> That's gonna go from the relay to the battery. And then of course the winch will hook up to the relay. It's got positive and negative terminals. Turn your relay on and off and your contact terminals that will connect power to the relay when the, or will connect power to the winch when the relay is energized. So here we are, passenger side of this diesel battery. And uh, I'm out in the relay right in here. So I'll get that put in. This is uh, auxiliary one for my switch, hooking that to the relay. I already have a terminal. Connector crimped on there and tape that up. Okay, so this is where the relay goes. Right down in here. It's where the bolt was. There's already existing bolt right here in the fender. I removed it. That's what we're gonna bolt it in with. But I'm gonna put this uh, wire from my auxiliary, auxiliary switch on there first because it's easier to get to with the battery here and everything. It's, uh, there ain't a whole lot of room. So I'm just gonna do this to make it easier. Get this wire on. You know, we have that wire on there. We're going to mount the relay with our bolt that we removed from the uh, inner fender. It's in here from the factory. Use a 16 millimeter socket or 5/8 if your set doesn't have one. Not odd to have one set that has a 16 and one set that doesn't have a 16. It's got like 18 millimeter. Not in every set. Still don't understand why, but. Sit low. Okay, got the relay mounted. Now this positive cable, the one that I bought, it's actually a little long. So I kind of looped it up around. I just fed it down through there. I couldn't do it with the camera. I kept bumping the camera about knocking it over. So anyway, this thing's a couple inches longer than what I wanted. I routed it up on top of this Existing wiring harness, because down below you see everything is shielded and wrapped and there's a turbo down there and everything's heat shield protected. And I don't have any heat shielding to put on this wire right now, so it looks kind of goofy, wrapped up around. I'll get the shorter one, I'm going to put some heat shield on it and tuck it down underneath there so it looks a little bit better. We've got this wire ran down around underneath here. And I tucked it down in beside the battery. It actually runs down along the inside of the battery tray by the battery. 
up around to where we're going to connect it to our positive terminal right here so okay so now we're going to get this cable put on from the battery or that goes to the battery it's not connected yet that's the last thing you do I always use flat washers on here because if you don't when you go to tighten your nut it wants to spin the whole terminal on your cable or your wire and with this one in the position it's in it'd be hard to keep it from spinning getting your fingers down in there it's always good to use a flat washer so you're not spinning your terminals or connectors and these are SAE threads this is a 5 16 thread so it's a half inch wrench make sure you get that good and tight now here's our cable positive battery cable that goes to the winch put that on the other switch terminal here flat washer and nut Sure those are tight. Now we're going to hook up our negative ground cable for our relay and Jeep is nice to uh, have added in some grounding studs here to make your connections to at this location right here because this is where your auxiliary switch wires are and everything else so I made up this ground wire 14 gauge wire and uh, used heat shrink terminal lens on it. I'm going to put that on the stud here, put the nut back on that I'd already removed. Again, these are 10 millimeter wrench. Ratchet wrenches are very nice. Quicker and easier to get this done. that up we'll put the other one here on the relay in with a washer and a nut these are 1032 nuts this relay doesn't come with any hardware so you're gonna have to if you don't have the hardware you're gonna have to go get it buy it uh, this at any hardware store or Lowe's anybody's gonna carry this type so, so you're gonna need two 1032 nuts washers for that two 5 16 18 nuts and washers for those okay there we are relays all mounted connected now we need to hook it up to the battery so again this is the last step you want to do installing this relay is hooking the positive cable to your battery because that makes your cable hot you don't want it to be hot but you've got it down in there not connected maybe touching metal so you get your relay fully installed first final step connect it to the battery it's 12 millimeter wrench for these connections sorry i don't have a lot of room here the camera's kind of in the way we'll get tight though make sure this is really tight too not tight enough to strip it, but you want to make sure your, all your battery connections are tight. It doesn't hurt to go check them periodically after a wheeling trip. Make sure nothing has come loose. Put your cover back on. And uh, we're done with this part. Now the very last step is to put your negative back on your battery. What you should have done from the beginning was remove the negative connection to your battery. Okay, now we're going to put the Jeep in run mode. Accessories, run. I'm going to push on uh, auxiliary one button. All right, I heard the relay click, but we'll go out and check it.
Okay, we have this from the battery into the relay. And this is out of the relay to the winch. So relay is working properly. And that's off of my auxiliary one. And this is the negative for the winch. I uh, hooked that up as well. I forgot the relay done, but so now we have power to our winch when the uh, relay is switched on with auxiliary one. It's a lot safer this way because that way if anything ever happens to your winch because of being in water or a cable running through or what have you, it's not hot all the time. It's not really a good way to do anything. You should never have something that's hot all the time like that directly off of a battery. It um, can cause you issues with battery drainage or a lot of different things. It's just everything should be relay operated. It's the proper way to install anything electrical on your vehicle. All right, so that wraps up this uh, project of adding a winch relay to an auxiliary switch on the Rubicon. All right, that concludes our video of installing the uh, relay for the positive cable going to the winch and connecting that uh, relay to auxiliary one switch in the diesel Rubicon here. So pretty simple job and just peace of mind is what it's all about. I know a lot of people and I have in the past also have been running my connector directly to the positive terminal on the battery. It's just not a good idea, safety reasons why, and, and uh, having issues with your battery getting drained. So it's just a good idea to run everything that you add on electrically to a vehicle to run it through a relay and have a switch control that relay. So it's just the safest way to go. All right, that was a pretty simple test, not a whole lot to it. And uh, got the part number there in the video for the relay that I purchased. You know, I bought mine off of eBay. Um, all right, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Take care. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.